Reed and Kane family. She says, Gwen was a smart, smart girl. So I have to tell you that this morning, Miss Reed called me and said, write this down and take it there and read it. So I'm reading verbatim what she said to me because I type pretty fast. When she would come home from driving, Gwen would come by my house and we would talk about everything. I'd ask, Gwen, how do you know so much? And Gwen would say, oh, Miss Reed, I read. <laughs> and they'd laugh and laugh. Sometimes when we were talking, I'd ask Gwen, am I, which Gwen am I talking to? Is this the real Gwen or the one with the tick? The tick was the side that was angry about everything. To Gwen's children, Miss Reed says, don't listen to negative stuff about your mom. She was smart, she could do anything she wanted to do. When teachers would tell her something, she'd ask them, how did you guys come to that conclusion? <laughs> and then she would tell them what she knew. Gwen got FBI clearance to take pictures of Obama when he came to Memphis. How many black women can you say that about? She passed the dance audition for the Alvin Ailey Dance Apprenticeship, but she was pregnant and couldn't go. But how many people can you say that about? And then Ms. Reed says, my heart is heavy today. I am so sad. Gwen had a good, good heart, and I miss her. Amen. Amen. Now, for me, how do you sum up in a few minutes almost 50 years of knowing someone? So rather than try and do that, I thought I'd talk about some of the lessons that I learned from her, and these are the three major ones. The first one is, whenever you get the chance, wear rubble socks. <laughs> we were young, and Stephanie, we were the Gleason threesome. Gwen, Stephanie, and I were always together, and Gwen, Stephanie had a party at her house. Gwen wanted to go, and she said, you better ask my mama, because if I ask her, she ain't gonna let me go. So, I asked Ms. Moore. Ms. Moore said, okay. Gwen came to the party. Most of us had on low-rise, the, the hip hugger jeans with bell bottoms, crop tops, halter tops and things like that. Gwen had on a bright yellow dress with a big sash in the back, a bow in her hair, black patent leather shoes, and ruffled socks. <laughs> so, I wasn't quite ready for that and I asked her, why do you wear ruffled socks to this party? She looked down twisted her ankle from side to side and said, I got another pair at home, you wanna borrow some? <laughs> <laughs> what that said to me was, yes, this is my girl. She is comfortable in whatever she has on. Wear what you love and love what you wear. So in honor of Gwen today, I put on rubble socks. Amen. Amen. Thing two, ask for everything you want. My sister Diane used to work at McDonald's on Lamar Avenue. That's the old McDonald's, the one that was across the street from the cleaners. And we would go to McDonald's a lot. Stephanie and Gwen and I would cut through Cherokee Park. It was safe then. And <laughs> we would make our way to McDonald's. Stephanie and I always managed to have a little cash on hand. But Gwen was always busted. She was always broke. So we get there, Stephanie and I would order a cheeseburger, a small fries, small soda, and that was it. And then we'd ask Gwen, what do you want? And she would say, a Big Mac, large fries, a large Dr. Pepper, and an apple pie. No dollars, she had no money. So Stephanie would pop her hip out and go, why you have to order everything on the menu? Mm. To which Gwen would say, well, I figured this way. If I ask for everything I want, I know I'm gonna get something. Mm. 
That is such a beautiful lesson to take through life with you. Ask for what you want. And you just might get it. But I'd always tell her, you can have a cheeseburger, small fry, a small drink, you know that will buy The last thing is, enjoy life. In the summer, sometimes we would get bored, and Gwen and I were performers at heart. We played around a lot. There's a fire hydrant right on the corner of Barron at um, Haynes Street. This block right down there. And the fire hydrant is right on the corner, so we would get onto the fire hydrant and pose. We'd climb up there, and whatever pose came to mind is what we would do. Sometimes we do the power stance. <laughs> Sometimes we would put on our Marilyn Monroe pose. And Gwen's all-time absolute favorite was the Big Fig Newton, where you stand on one foot, and go like this. <laughs> we would fall off that fire hydrant, roll on the ground, on the concrete. We didn't care. It was just fun stuff. We had a great time. Because living life, especially with Gwen, was fun. So there are lots and lots of things I can say about her because we had lots and lots of years of memories. But I really want to thank her for just being in my life, for enriching me, for making me feel like I was somebody, because she always made me feel like I was just special and smart, because we was really near and dear to my heart. So as I close, I just want to recap of those three things, which are, whenever you get the chance, Please wear ruffled socks <laughs> if it makes your heart happy. Put them on. Always ask for what you want. And please, enjoy life. It's really short. <laughs>